to do a quick introduction uh, and overview of the SP 8x10 uh, film processing tray. Uh, this is one of the first prototypes uh, fresh out of the mold. Um, as we've mentioned in some of the other emails, the surface finish on the lid is not quite, shall we say, perfected yet. Uh, that's a side effect of the fact they haven't cut the cooling channels into the mold, so the mold gets a little, little too hot uh, during the process. Uh, that's something they'll do after we've approved the mold, uh, then they'll optimize it for production, but that's purely a cosmetic issue that we aren't too concerned about right now. Now, we're not exactly sure how all this is gonna ship yet, but you will get, you will get a bunch of parts. And I'm gonna start introducing the, um, the, the inner baffle. This is the baffle that goes on the inside, farthest inside of the tray. And you'll notice it has extrusions um, sticking out on it, and those will line up with these little little slots down here in the bottom. Now the function of these um, little triangles is you put the film in, it's going to push the film away from the, uh, the baffle just far enough to make sure that the hold down, that it clears the hold down tabs. And you'll see how that works here in a minute. The next baffle is the middle baffle. Now this doesn't have a part number, they don't have part numbers on them yet. Again, that's, they're um, carving that into the mold right now. But the inner baffle is about twice as thick as the other two baffles and it only fits in the middle slot. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter which way it goes. As long as you get it in the middle slot, you're fine. Same with the outer baffle, it can go either way um, and it just drops into the outer slot. So. Let's look at these hold down tabs. Now there's two different hold down uh, tabs. You have a center one like this with the double angle on it and then the end ones. Now for almost all formats, you're gonna wanna install all eight of the um, end hold down tabs and you can feel them when they go in, they'll just lock into place. might have to wiggle them just a little bit to get them into to lock in. Um, to take them out, you just squeeze a little lever on the end and it'll slide right out and it will slide, you know, right back in there. There we go. There. So, to load this for 8x10, pretty straightforward. You just take your sheet of 8x10 film. Now, I like to taco it for just about 10 seconds, just kind of hold it like a taco. This adds a little bit of a curve to the film because of the, the texture on the bottom of the tray creates quite a bit of surface tension. And if, you, if your film happens to be absolutely flat, it takes a little longer for the liquid to work its way underneath the film when you do the pre-wet. But if you taco it for about 10, hold it you know, curve for about 10 seconds, you drop it in, there's gonna be plenty of curve to it. So you take the lid, and of course you're doing this in the dark, so you wanna line, you wanna line these up and feel it when it hits that, that inner baffle, and then you can just lay the lid down in place and you're ready to go. Uh, at this point, I would tip the tilt, you know, tilt the tray up just a little bit and pour in about 500 to 1,000 milliliters of water to do the pre-soak uh, like we talked about in the, uh, in the user's guide. Now, the load for five by seven, pretty much the same operation, except you need these center tabs, or center hold downs. So they, they snap in here. And then again, emulsion side up you'll just place the film in the bottom of the tray. Now here you have to be careful. You, you'll wanna find these um, recessed pockets here that line up with the center hold down tabs. You wanna find those to make sure the film hasn't slipped over it. So make sure you've got the film all the way to either end of the tray. And then again, just carefully get the lid on, drop it in place and you're ready to go. Very similar for four by five. Except 
you now need the center divider. This thing drops in like that. Here again, emulsion side up. I, we found that the 4x5 and even the 5x7 film um, seems to let liquid underneath it pretty easily. Aren't as concerned about doing that taco curve uh, before we load it. But you'll have to experiment and see how it works with whatever film you're using. Again, these little, um, the little triangles here at the end are pushing the film out so that the um, tip of the, of the hold down tab is away from the emulsion on the film and the lid just drops down into place. Again, make sure that your film hasn't slipped over the, uh, those recessed pockets. And there you go, you're ready to process your four by five or you could do nine by 12 with that. You can also, of course, um, do 13 by 18. If you have any questions or comments, um, the contact info is down below or at the end of the uh, video here.